It is officially football season, the first day of NFL training camp all around the nation and here in Vegas, the site everyone wants to see, number 10 in silver and black. Ron Futrell and his slightly less talked about jawline was there and breaks it down. Well, the Raiders had an early start about 8 o'clock this morning for training camp in Henderson. Yes, a lot of players out there by my count, about 89 of them, but Jimmy Garoppolo, this was the guy that was most people wanted to check out his first practice as a Raiders quarterback. As always, there were jitters out there for opening day. I, I like that feeling, though. It means, it means something to you. Uh, I don't know. You care about what you're doing, and <clears throat> it was really cool just getting out there with the guys, uh, trying to get into that rhythm and a lot of new stuff for me. But, uh, yeah, I enjoyed it today. It was fun. Once the nerves settled down, it was time for business. A lot of questions about that injured foot, the one that required surgery in March. Never really a worry. Uh, we had a good plan here. The strength staff, uh, training staff really tip my hat to those guys. They did a great job just getting me back and getting me where I need to be. And you know, I'm not fully there yet, but work in the right direction. As expected, no Josh Jacobs. The Raiders all pro running back was not at camp today. Now the first exhibition game is less than three weeks away against the Niners. That's a home game that will also be seen here on 8 News Now. And you can't go wrong with a giant picture of Jimmy Garoppolo in your story, can you? Ron Futrell, 8 Sports Now. And as Ron said, other main question mark of camp, NFL's leading rush are still in search of that long-term contract, as are some of the best backs in the league. In fact, Jacobs joined guys like Austin Eckler, Saquon Barkley, and other running backs who met on Zoom when it comes to the state of the running back in the league and not getting big contracts. The other stars on this team want the man here, including Max Crosby, who was actually at Jacobs' house trying to convince the star running back to show up. But at the end of the day, that's not his decision. Yeah, you know, uh, for me, you know, Josh is a Josh is a grown man. You know, he's got to make the best decision for him and his family. Um, no matter what, Josh is like a brother to me. We came in together. We've had a bunch of different coaches together. Uh, Josh is a grown man. He knows what's best for him. So I'm going to support him in any way I can. It's a tough process, and it's a lot of things, you know, obviously been through it. So it's um, there's, there's a lot of things that go on in, in your mind when you're going through it. So I just try to, like I said, help him out as much as possible and let him make his decision. And here's why those running backs met over that Zoom in terms of average annual dollars running backs make less than kickers do. You heard that right. Sure, there's more running backs than kickers in the league, but still just a ridiculous stat. And here's the rationale for teams when it comes to not paying. That is the last five Super Bowl champions have not had a rusher to go over 1,000 yards. In fact, one on there didn't even have 500 yards. Priorities change in the NFL all the time, and we'll see what script the Raiders follow. But Jacobs likely to be playing for that $10 million franchise tag. We just have no idea when we'll see him Correct. playing for that $10 million franchise huh. tag. It must be out. nice. I, yeah, you know, <laughs> he wants more in the scheme of things, but $10 million is a, it's a decent consolation prize. Yes. Very much so. Okay, thanks, Logan.